What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video in my channel. This is going to be a best operators to solo queue with. Obviously when you're solo queuing, you're going to be expected to clutch 1v3s. You're going to be expected to clutch more than ever so lightly when you're in a full squad or when you're with your buddies or whatever. Um, sometimes you're going to be placed with bad teammates. Sometimes just good teammates. Just how sieges. But hopefully this video will make you guys better and just give you a better understanding of operators or the best ones in the game or if you haven't tried none of these then you should give it a shot and see how they go for you if you guys don't know already um i'll have my twitch link down description i stream every day um 5 p.m western time but let's get into the video the first operator is going to be nomad she is really good. Nomad has three air jabs and three flashbacks. She could she can take out any ADS for Jaeger. Maybe your teammate wants to nade the room. Really simple, easy. You could put a Nomad in your flank. You could put it to just lock down a certain objective. Or you just lock down every one, every defender in objective they won't be able to get out they won't be able to flank you they just won't be able to do anything obviously claymores were designed off that too but they're just not as good because who mostly the most roamers that I've encountered is always a freaking bandit Jaeger it's always those two those two are the most that are roaming obviously there's vigils vigil has impact so it's kind of like a little counter to her Unless you put it up top in a doorway or somewhere hidden. But obviously a bandit and Jaeger just cannot, cannot, cannot pass no man. So that's our number one. Our number two is going to be a little bit more advanced of an operator for solo queuing. And it's going to be Doki B. Because she has a DMR and her secondaries are kind of... You need a little curving, a little curve for... To control her recoil and just basically learn how to use her gadget properly obviously if you spawn in the first 30 seconds of a matching call unless you guys are rushing or you see your teammates rushing then it's going to be useful but if you just do it you waste it and you just wasted a utility that later in the round could could have helped you guys win the round or even the game if it was match point but obviously this one, she like I said, she's a little bit more advanced. You need to be aware of your teammates, of what they're doing. If you see an Ash that she's droning into a room or she's chasing someone, or if you see three people trying to clear roamers or anything like that, you could just call them, help them out. Find anyone that's roaming, obviously. Even if you're just pushing objective by yourself and everyone's doing their own little thing, this helps everyone out it's a little booster for everyone basically so that's why duck would be number two honorable mentions gonna be jackal you know track defeat for roamers but in the higher ranks plat twos plat ones diamond it's always jackal getting banned and lesion those two are basically the most banned in the game uh, i'm not sure how it is in plat three and below in golds but honorable mention our third pick is going to be Ying. i love this girl she is so good 80 round mag flashes what more do you want she's so good maybe some smokes you know you'd be some bring her some smokes some smoke needs that would be good like how she was but anyways Obviously, her candelas, she has three of them. She can basically flash a whole room. You just go right in, kill whoever's in there. Easy clap. You could put them on the doorways or on windows, burn down the Jaegers, charge one up, throw it all the way in the end, and then just throw one right in. Anyone that hears the little sound of the ying will run they will run so it's a quick clear for any bomb site you could throw them 
and you could tell one of your teammates if they're listening to you to plant or whatever you could f throw all three frag out get three kills maybe make it a 5v2 really good she's really good and our fourth my fourth pick is going to be finca finca is going to be something like i want to say kind of in the middle of really easy like nomad but somewhere in between dokubi she you still need to see where your teammates are at at all times you need to be aware of what is going on for example if you see a ash shooting the first doorway you already know that she's gonna rush right in so you just want to hit that for her obviously if one of your teammates gets down by getting spawn peaked you could pick them up across the map you can probably save their life and not lose and make it a 4v5 right off the bat um, another thing that's really good with her is that she has frags grenades you could play vertically so when it obviously when it comes to a solo queue and you know map knowledge for example I'm gonna use skyscraper and tea room there's always people behind tea room they're hiding right there you could go finca you could go at the bottom easy two kills maybe damage one off maybe open a hole and then one of the defenders is kind of come back into T room and there's already hole and you're just waiting down there easy kill anything like that any frags any flash should basically be a kill it should lead up to a kill or be a kill if that makes sense um so let's so that's going to be five attackers now we're going to switch over to defender we are halfway through the video. If you guys are still here, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share it with two friends. I would appreciate that very much. But our first defensive operator that I've been playing a lot recently on the solo queue is the boy Capcan. Capcan is just a simple, he's such a simple operator, really easy to use. You could just place down his traps anywhere, any doorway, anywhere. Capcan's really useful. He's so underrated. People in the high ranks don't use him. They rarely use him. Um, but there's always people that are not careful. They always hit the traps and they either die or take a lot of damage, which makes them easier to kill for you and your teammates. So it's just good all around, especially when it comes down to the wire and you have some cap cans and objective. People just rush and they don't look for traps. They just rush because of a time and they die or, like I said, easy pick and that should be game. The second operator, well, more like an honorable mention. Once again, it's going to be the boy Legion. His goos are just so good that he get he gets banned every match. Um, obviously, when an uh, operator hits the goo mines, you know where they're coming from because it shows you where you put the leash in mine, where they hit it at, so you don't even have to really remember where you put them. So, he's really easy. Obviously, when people don't ban him, just go with this guy. And our third choice, well, second, third choice, whatever you guys want to call it, is going to be the girl, Ella. Ella is one of those operators where if you die early in the round for spawn peeking, you will still help out the teammate, just like Cap can. If you're still alive at the end round, you'll still help your teammate because of her Grismont mines. They're really powerful. It slows down the enemy. It blinds them right when they hit it. Hit the Grismonts. And they just they just get slowed down so much that it's such an easy kill. And another thing is that she's a one speed well, three speed with a really, really good shotgun. I don't think it's the best in the game. I feel like Cap Can shotgun is the best in the game. But this shotgun obviously is such a big massacre. It's 
one of the best shotguns in the game like I said it's so easy to use you could just camp in an objective hold it down two Grismonts on the doorways and you should be golden she's really good for roaming too you could just put one in a doorway keep two stay alive until the end game the end of the round and if no one hits the Grismont you already know that no one's coming from that way so you could you just use the other two utilities where the other people are coming from in the other doorway or in the other bomb site wherever now to our next option is going to be Valkyrie Valkyrie is a really really good operator. I think she's one of the best operators to solo queue because you could put down three cams anywhere in the map and you'll have intel of where the attackers are attacking from. You this is when I play Valkyrie, I'm just gonna give us a quick tip. When I play Valkyrie, I usually put only one cam well actually there's two options what I do with Valkyrie it, depend, it depends on the map so I either put one for spawn peeking so I can see and then I put another one by objective where I know my teammates are not going to be playing by and where I'm going to be at so I could deny that side for the bomb entry and the second option is I put two cams by next two objectives and I just keep one just in case one gets taken out on either side of the bomb obviously not inside of the bomb sites but outside the bomb sites if that makes sense um so yeah so just in case when it comes down to let's say a 1v2 and someone shoots a cam I could just throw quickly another cam wherever they shot that one get a quick intel before they shoot it out again I already know if two people are pushing that side I don't have to worry about my back or the other side of the bomb site so that's why she is really useful and the other person that is I feel amazing but Valkyrie is better is the boy Sergio the ball genius pulse this guy is amazing his UMP with extended not extended mags that would be dope um let me know about that idea though what do you guys think if siege comes with extended mags but anyways extended barrel extended barrel hollow angle this gun has no recoil really easy to control um I just feel like this is one of the better guns for defense obviously not the best ones but it's just really good for beginners um like it pulse is another um intel operator um for example you could just get two quick easy kills for example in oregon if you're playing in armory top armory hit the window twice on both bottom and top armory go up top scan make sure someone is droning from the bottom because they usually push to the hatch and destroy it and there's always two three people that push armory downstairs so since you're up top you already know where they are you could just jump down the window jump back into the other window and get at least one or two kills right off the bat and plus he has a c4 what else do you need when the plant is going down you guys could just c4 them from bottom and it's just easy kill easy intelligence an easy intel for the whole team it's just he's just one of the better ones plus he rec not recently he he got a minor buff with his heartbeat sensor where he um puts it away quicker so that's another thing um that's gonna be all let me know what other tip videos you guys want me to, you guys want to see um and yeah I'll see you guys on the next one. Dan out.